Hello. A few days ago, I got some of these given. And I popped a video up where we described them as translucent, transparent, and clear. I think we'll stick with clear. Okay, so I've got some of these clear buckets given. And I asked the question with respect to growing root vegetables in them would there be too much light passing through here that if it got onto a potato, for example, or a carrot, would they turn green? And if there would, did I need to put a liner in this or something on the outside of it to make it more like one of these? like a black bucket. These are what I normally grow in. Um, and I got a good response to that video. In fact, I got an excellent response to that video. And I got some really good um, feedback. Uh, people have used those see-through buckets for various things. Uh, up to date, nobody's come back with carrots and potatoes. Um, they've grown other things in them. But one suggestion I really did like, and this came from Penny Turner, and I want to thank Penny for this. Let me just move this off of here, uh, and I'll put some text on here for you. Okay, so this is what Penny said. Hi, I use the clear buckets as clutches on top. They fit great. Clear buckets as clutches on top. They fit great. Hey, <laughs> why didn't I think of that? Look at this black bucket, see through bucket, perfect, perfect. How do we hold them in place? Domestic peg. How good is that? How good is that? It's a mini greenhouse. I'm, I've never done this before, but thanks Penny. I'm fairly sure this is going to work. I'm fairly sure this is going to work. Now imagine this. We'll go back into the garden and then we'll come back to these buckets. Imagine this. And you do need to use your imagination here. Imagine that's a potato. Well, there's no need to because it is. But imagine that's a potato growing in your garden. Okay. You've just watched the evening news and the weather's come on. There's going to be an overnight frost. In fact, it might snow. Well, this isn't going to like it, is it? is now. How about that? How about that? And we put a brick or something on top of this to hold it in place. Frost protection. It can freeze if it likes, it can snow if it likes. It ain't getting that potato, is it? It just isn't. Um, so I haven't got any potatoes in the garden yet, but when I do, and because I've got quite a few of these, the weather forecast tells me there's going to be an overnight frost. They'll all get some protection if they come through. How about that? Now let me show you this. The same would apply, I guess, to any plant growing in a black bucket, wouldn't it? That wouldn't like to be frosted, it wouldn't like snow on it. Well, it doesn't have to have any frost or snow on it now, does it? We can simply do that, can't we? We can simply do that. Okay, now then, if you're self-isolating, and I hope you are, if you're self-isolating, uh, you're stuck indoors, you're perhaps going out into the garden, that's good, take a bit of exercise, um, keep yourself to yourself. You may not have any seed potatoes, you may have ordered them, um, but you may not have any. 
Hey, take a look at these. I'm sure you've been looking at them while I've been talking. These are Charlotte, and these are Mozart. These are the late potato, these are the second early. These were on the veg rack indoors two weeks ago. I took them off the veg rack and I put them in a drawer in the dark in a warm room. And look at those chits. Now what I'm going to suggest you do is that if you haven't got any seed potatoes and now that you're stuck indoors, check your veg rack. If you've got some of these smaller salad potatoes, they will cheat up. They cheated up in two weeks. You can do this. Take some off your veg rack and just put them in a warm drawer somewhere and forget about them for two weeks. Then take them out and they will be cheated up. Um, now you need to plant them. Okay. I'm guessing you might have some compost, you might not. You've got some soil in your garden. Can you get your hands on some soil? Have you any old pots lying about the place? Have you? Have you any that have got plants in there that have passed their best that you want to get rid of? Well, get rid of them. Get that um, compost chopped up in that soil. Put it in one of these guys. Put two inches in there. Sit one of those on that two inches, fill it up, stand it outside. You're growing potatoes. Fill yourself with even more confidence. I want you to watch a couple of videos that I knocked out. I think it was two years ago, I'm not 100% on this one. Um, and those videos are called, let me just move this so I can put the title on this table. Those videos are called Charlotte Expecting Potatoes. Charlotte Expecting Potatoes. And what you're going to find, you're going to find two videos. Okay, in the first video, the Charlotte potatoes are actually pressing the inside of the um, water bucket and deforming them. It looks like Charlotte is pregnant. It looks like a baby bump. It looks like Charlotte's expecting. So that's where I got the idea. Charlotte's expecting potatoes. So in the first video, I'll show you that. And in the second video, uh, Charlotte actually delivers. And she delivers in a barra. How about that? Charlotte delivers potatoes in a barra. And hey, just remember, there was only one store-bought potato went in that 10-inch bucket. Watch those two videos. Charlotte's expecting potatoes. Let me know what you think. Stay safe. This is Homegrown Veg, signing out.